Within the past hour, all westbound lanes of JTB reopened after a deadly crash. Shut down several lanes for hours. Just after 7 this morning, two pickup trucks crashed near Butler, which is near I-295. That's where Channel 4's Kumasi Aaron is joining us live this afternoon. Kumasi, how does traffic look now? Well, Nikki, it looks like a normal day of afternoon traffic on JTB. I want to show you this scene. It was a little bit further down the road here where you see those signs. When we got here about an hour or so ago, there were FHB vehicles there, a road ranger there. Now the lanes are totally clear. Um, earlier this morning, though, during rush hour, several lanes had to be shut down and traffic was pretty backed up, causing some pretty major delays while troopers were there investigating. They told us that two pickup trucks got into the crash in the westbound lanes around 720 this morning. Now, this is video we took driving by just about 30 minutes ago. At this point, the two lanes were still blocked, but traffic was flowing smoothly. FHB vehicles on the scene and one of the trucks involved in the crash was up on a tow truck at that point. Now, this is a picture we took driving by of the medical examiner at the scene. While they were here, all of the westbound lanes were shut down, but now they are back open. We don't know a lot of details at this point about the person killed in this accident. We are waiting for an update from investigators. But again, back here live on the scene, all of the westbound lanes are open here on JTB after this deadly crash. We are working to learn more details about the person who was involved in this crash, and we will have more details about them and about the crash itself coming up tonight at 5. Reporting live on the south side, Kamal Sierra and Channel 4, the local station.